There are two types of colorful yarn in one loop, but on the front view, there is just one color that you can see. If you turn the camera on the side of the fabric, you will be able to see there is one color on the front and another on the back side. Turning to the back view, there is just one color. Generally, there is just one yarn feeder pushed from side to side to feed yarn for knitting needle to knit. But if you want to knit a single jersey, one color is on the back and another on the front. For general flying machine, it has four yarn feeder rods. For one rod, there are two yarn feeder tracks. So in total, there are eight yarn feeder tracks. There are eight yarn feeders on the left and another spaced on the right side. So in total, 16 yarn feeders here. In the process of this plating, I'm going to choose left number three and the number four yarn feeder. The color chain system put down number three and number four magnetic chunks metal. When touch the right horn of the yarn feeder seat unit, the metal chunks move up and down due to the shape of the horn until these two get into the groove in the middle. And the carriage pushes two yarn feeders to knit at the same time. The white yarn is a bit ahead and in front of the right yarn. And the position remains still when the hook of the needle catches the yarn. When loop is being formed, the white yarn from number 3 is in front of the right yarn from number 4. The needle in the middle carries out the tuck action. I don't want to revise this animation. It takes a amount of time, so we just focus on two front it, alright? The number 3 is the same. So from the front view, you can only be able to see the white color. But if placed the lens to side view, you could be able to see two colors. If we keep on turning camera to the back side, ignore the loops in the middle, the tuck one. The right color is on the surface. The premise for the color chain system is that the chunks metal are aligned with each other. Move the right horn of number 3 to the left or turn the right horn of number 4 to the right. Then number 3 is a bit ahead to the right. For another direction from right side to the left, adjust the left horn of number 3 to the right or move the left horn of number 4 to the left. When in this direction from right side to the left, the number 3 is a bit ahead. Try to press a few times and you'll get it. And this is something I want to talk for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jumid.Z, and you can also find me on Facebook, Jumid.Z as well. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and see you next time.